Hello and good day, ladies and gents. Mo Monocle here, welcoming you to a short hike. So, this is a pretty small game. It's cute. Uh, Digital recently uh, purchased it, so I tried it out on her Switch. There aren't many games out there that I would recommend to literally anybody. No matter what your taste is, I think you can benefit from experiencing this game. Like meditation, even if you spend a short time with it, you'll definitely see the positivity that you'll get from it. A short hike, even though by its name, it is also a short experience, only running about four to six hours in length. And even if you're a completionist, you're only gonna be spending around six hours with this game. But the amount of joy that comes out of playing this game, I cannot describe it. If I was having a bad day, this is one of those games that just brings total comfort. I don't think that there is a short experience and something that is just so easy to pick up and play that really gives me the feeling like this game does. Now, it is just at face value, a short romp through the forest with some cute characters, very reminiscent to me of Animal Crossing in a way, and I know that's kind of like an easy grab, but it really does have an array of characters that add a lot to this little adventure that you go on. They're quirky, they have different personalities. Um, is it just the two of you? Hey! The Rock Climbers Association has hundreds of members spanning over 35 countries worldwide. Hundreds of members growing and refining the art of rock climbing, pushing the craft to its absolute limit and beyond. Um, I meant, if it's just the two of you, like, here? What of it? Listen, kid, climbing ain't for the weak of heart. Most people don't have what it takes. Um, it's not really that bad. So anyway. And they offer some different experiences for you when you are exploring this island or sets of islands if you dare to explore far enough. And you can even get quite sidetracked on your journey to the peak. Now, the whole premise of this game is that you are a teenager who is looking for a bit of cell reception so you can make a call to your mom. It's very, very simple, but it does hold underneath it kind of a bit of an emotional journey. And if you do happen to pick up and play, you'll know what I mean. Other than that, it's it's really just about having fun. Like you're roaming around and maybe you're gonna play a bit of a stick ball, which is one of my favorites. I formally challenge you to a game of beach stick ball. Ooh, that means you have to play. Rule number three, believe in yourself. That's the most important rule. Don't ever forget it. That's pretty much it. Yeah, uh, yeah, baby. Give me that, uh. Uh, all right. Yeah, Dude, we got this. Our volley is insane. And uh, perhaps you might get the keys to the local motorboat, which for me is the highlight of this game. <laughs> Look at her face when we crash! Dude, man, this boat is insane. I know. If I could go back and do anything, I would just chill out and <laughs> just drive around on the motorboat because that was just a blast. And there are some things that provide a bit of a challenge. You can get gold feathers in order to increase your fly height or it's in general, much like if you think about uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, your stamina or endurance for whatever things you might be doing, climbing, running, etc. And then there's also uh, a little bit of <laughs> it's a love-hate relationship for me and there's a fishing segment where you can catch a variety of fish some harder than others obviously or else there'd be no challenge in collecting those rare few but it does take you all around the island for you to seek out these different fish now you might think that this game is for a casual gamer maybe someone who just likes you know those relaxed experiences but i think anybody could benefit from playing this game like i said in the beginning of this video it, it is like honestly a lot like meditation you could pick it up maybe you were just having a very intense 
like death match in an FPS game. And if you just vibe out to this game, I think like it's a great way to just, you know, calm yourself down, relax a little bit and get back into whatever else you were doing. Even if you were like doing a study break or something like that, if you have it on your Nintendo Switch or your PC or whatever, it's just a great experience all around and it doesn't take that much time even if you have beaten it i think it does have a little bit of replay value as that sort of comfort aspect i mean you could spend five minutes really just would clear your head i think and that that's the beauty of this game in my opinion and so i wanted to make this short video <laughs> for a short game but it definitely offers everything you might want from, you know, an indie game. So of course, hats off to the creator, Adam Robinson Yu. But also, I would definitely be remiss to not mention Mark Sparling, who did the soundtrack to this game. And honestly, it pairs wonderfully. It is a great soundtrack. And I do know, actually, that this soundtrack was offered as a vinyl. So those sold out super quick. And I can only imagine it's because this soundtrack is just so relaxing so nice i could imagine listening to it on like a cloudy rainy day or you know if you're just like sitting and reading a book it would just be some great background to whatever you might be doing in life if you look at the game its art style is awesome and the fact that you can change it from more of a pixelated look to more of a smoother look is great i love that option and you can definitely you know change it to suit your taste it's very different however i like it Big and crunchy. That's the way I like it. I like my pixels big and crunchy, baby. Personally, I really liked the uh, pixel sort of look to it, and it, it just adds interesting texture to the environment that makes it look kind of like uh, cute and charming. And in general, I think that's a perfect word to label this game as. It's just charming. Besides the things that I mentioned, there are some different aspects to this game. Like you can go on little quests and you can collect different kinds of items. And there's all sorts of, you know, little collectibles, nothing too major. Even get some changes in your uh, headwear as well. So there's... There's definitely a little treasures that you can find within the game. If you skip over looking around and finding like all the little secrets that the island holds, then it's definitely going to be a really short experience and I think you're missing out. It's definitely meant to take a little bit of your time, explore a little bit. The great thing about this is that there's balance between adventure and exploring for secrets and doing the little quests and stuff. So it doesn't become cumbersome at all. It doesn't take up too much of your time with all these bits and bobs that you have to go seek out, but it's just perfect enough that it'll take you through a few, you know, sidetracks and then you can be on your way. And what's great is that it's almost like there's something to explore and something to find on each level of the mountain. So as you explore, you find a few things here and there that might take you back down the mountain or maybe bring you a little bit farther up. You know, people need different things and they'll have you looking around everywhere for it but it doesn't get to the point where it's going to take up too much of your time and that's why i would definitely recommend this game to everybody if you want a nice little game to your library something that you can pick up again if you ever need a sort of well pick me up this is one of them that i'd recommend a short hike done great adam robinson you and mark sparling for the soundtrack they did a wonderful job and on that note Ladies and gents, I appreciate you joining me today for this review, and as always, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.